Go get your shoes on, quick. See? We're about to leave. I'm going to leave you here. here. I mean, I'm just kidding. You guys didn't hear that. Good morning, homies. How are you guys doing? Good. Right now it is going on 11 and we're just now fixing breakfast, but I'll show you what we got going on. What are those called, Jenna? Um, hamburgers. No, they're sausages. They do look like hamburgers. And then we got some pancakes going on. Pancakes. So. This quick for the win. Last night was kind of whatever with this kid, but he did okay. But then he eventually came into our room. I don't know why. Or I don't know when, but he did. It's Wednesday. I cannot believe it's hump day. Ooh, ooh. Day, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I hope you guys had your hands over your ears because that was wicked loud. We're just kind of hanging out in the middle of this week cooking a breakfast. I bought this turkey sausage. I'll show you the packaging at Publix. It was on sale. Okay, go. Go put it on your table. <laughs> it's what? All jiggly? Okay. Anyway. Uh-oh. You okay over there? I bought this uh, turkey sausage. It's kind of like more natural type, so we'll check it out. I'm really into like turkey bacon and turkey sausage. It's so much better for you. How many of you guys out there, like, how do you like your pancakes? Okay, because the way my mom makes my pancakes, she um, uses Bisquick, but then she puts in a little bit of vanilla extract, and then when she cooks them, like, they're pretty much all the way done, kind of, but they're, like, a little bit gooey in the middle. That's how I like my pancakes, and hopefully that's not bad to do because of the egg and stuff, but... Oh my god, that's my favorite way. And Brian makes really good homemade pancakes. Like, he always makes these like banana nut ones that are wicked good, guys. And I'll post like a link to the recipe below. And sometimes he'll make the batter homemade or whatever by himself. But like, there's something about Bisquick better. I mean, mm -hmm, that Bisquick though. But anyway, everybody else is headed off to VidCon this weekend. And I'm like, kind of like new to all this video creator stuff. And you know, I try to do like these little tutorials and I really like watching video influencers, which I'll post like a link right here to them because they've got some good tips on channel growth and different things like that. And just overall, like it's good to kind of hear what other YouTubers are doing or like their kind of take on success and stuff like that. I kind of went into this YouTube thing because like, I don't even know, like I was like, ooh, maybe like I'll actually, not like I need to be famous or anything guys, because it's whatever. But like I was like, well, maybe actually this is like a good outlet for me because I've just always loved making videos. It's something like I really like doing. I've learned a lot, you know, and I've been doing this since like, I guess since February or March. And of course, like my mom didn't really like me doing it because she's like, you better be careful on the internet. But it's like, I mean, I blur things out if I need to, you know. I mean, I try to make it a public service announcement, like, if you're a weirdo, like, don't be weird. Or don't say something perverted to me, because you're gonna get blocked. But, you know, people are still gonna do and say what they're gonna do and say, so. Like, there's some people that aren't going to VidCon because of the incident with Christina Grimmy, and then the incident in Orlando. Well, both of them were in Orlando. Just because you have like a certain view on something and don't agree with anything, which by the way, contrary to a lot of what you're seeing other churches say about that shooting, you know, Jesus is loving, God is loving, but God is also just, you know, he doesn't agree with sin and every sin is the same. So while we don't really, as Christians, we don't really believe in that, it's definitely nothing that like, you know, 
I'm gonna sit here and be like, I'm gonna go kill a bunch of people because I don't agree that they're living their life like that. Like, it's like those people are people. What matters is that people died in that shooting. You know, you don't have to be accepting of a lifestyle, but you also don't have to be killing a bunch of people because you don't agree with what they're doing. And to have like churches and people that are like in church saying things, like condemning these people and saying, yeah, they're sodomites and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, they're living a lifestyle that's not, you know, in agreement with the word of God. But first of all, that's like hateful what people, what some of these churches are saying. Like, and I just want to let you guys know that is not a Christian. I don't know where they get this warped idea. The one guy was saying that he hopes that the rest of the people die in the hospital. It's like, are you kidding me? Why are people so evil? You should be praising God that those people survive so that they can change their lives and give their lives to Christ. Okay, anyway, I can't have like a meaningful YouTube conversation because I got crazy tray hitting boy over here. And I just want to let you guys know that my prayers go out to both Christina Grimmie's family and also the families of those that were killed and the ones that were wounded, you know, physically and mentally from that tragic shooting. Just so sad. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. We are about to head to uh, Target. I'm going to try to find a seat cushion for that chair right there because that chair's kind of kind of hurts you, but so. Hey, are you a tank dab? Oh, is it now? You're so cute. And he's actually been doing so good on the potty. Like, he literally, like, I'll hear the toilet seat go up and then I'll go in there and he's sitting on the toilet and going. So we're gonna do that and get out of the house. Right now I'm gonna take a drink of water because you guys, I did it again. I hoarded some water bottles. Three bottles of water, one of which is empty with like a tad bit of water in it. It's like, why am I even keeping that? Like, what's the point? So I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head out and get out of the house because <laughs> you know what I always say. When I get older, I can my own dress. Yeah, you can. You think I need to work out? Yeah. Do you think I'm fat? Oh, good job. That was a good response. I'm so proud of you. Go get your shoes on quick. See? We're about to leave. I'm going to leave you here. here. I mean, just kidding. You guys didn't hear that. Hey, Jonah. What? What's the magic question? What question? The one that you always ask. Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I'm talking about dental hygiene. Why? Because Chase said it. Because Chase said it? Yeah. Oh, Lordy. We are headed off to Target because Jonah's been doing a good job on the potty. Which, by the way, what are you going to do if you got to go pee-pee? Say, Mommy and we gonna go talk again. You're gonna see us there. Alright guys, you're gonna see us there, so just be prepared. Be prepared! Anyway, let me give you guys an update about what happened. Okay. It's not what you think it is. Basically, it's totally the other end. We were driving down the road, okay? And then I turn back and I say, hey Jonah, are you hungry? You want something to eat? So then he's like, yeah, and I go, okay. So then I look at Elia and she spits up. Well, she didn't just spit up, she spits up. And then all of a sudden I see this huge stream of spit up, like coming out of her mouth. <laughs> I pulled over, I got her out of her car seat, just kind of patted her back. She was soaked, sorry. I'm getting my cleaning materials. She was soaked in uh, puke. It was crazy. So I redressed her even though I shouldn't have bothered because her car seat was drenched. Needless to say, we didn't go to Target, but 
Oh well. Right now Jonah's eating lunch, Ellie's all cleaned up. She seems to be doing fine. She doesn't have a temp or anything. I checked her temperature. She just has a really good reflex. So it's kind of like when she starts puking, she just keeps doing it. So do any of your kids do that? Because it was crazy. It freaked me out. I'm about to head outside, clean the car out. Cause it's my side bananas. B A N A N A S. Where are we going? Oh In the what? In the car. In the car? Learn from the best. Yeah, you're gonna see us at Target because we're gonna try again and make sure nobody projectile spits up in the car. <laughs> anyway, where are we headed to? The no. We're going into Target. Tag it. For all you people that know this New England language. You wanna go get a prize, Jonah? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. There's, ooh, no, why do you want a paper roll? <gasps> Jonah, look it. They got generic Lego guys. Remember you were saying how you wanted one? A Lego? Well, they do have them. Ooh, look at these. Building blocks. Ooh, grow capsules. Let's grow our own. Ooh, a snake? No thanks. Ew, a vulture? Ew, no thanks. Crocodile? Heck no. Ew, cool. like Shout out to Mia on that one. How are you? How are you doing? Huh? You want to tag it? Oh, thank you for sharing. Oh, look Say at thanks. This. That's cool. You just smash it. Smash it on floor. Mm -hmm. I'm not being mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> you can say hi to Alyssa. No. Ooh, way to have an attitude. Mm -hmm. So, where are we headed? <laughs> he always says that whenever he goes away because I record before we leave. <sighs> Excuse me, pterodactyl. You need to calm down. And FYI, Alyssa told me to go into the, or through this Chick fil A for her, and I was like, no, I don't want to. And this is why, because we're still in line. Oh my gosh, it's not my fault. <laughs> I need to get my hair redone. I know, I was looking at that. Oh. Oh, oops. You're still recording. Oh, well. Excuse me, Ellie. In the store, she sounded like a pterodactyl. Give her the dinosaur. Dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Oh, she got mad at you because you messed it up. How can one child be so loud? We're at home. Boring, I know. When we went to Target, we saw Katrina and Mark there. And we got these cool things for Jonah, because he's been going potty. And we tried them in the bathtub. They're pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you guys. I got this nice, sweet cushion for my chair. Ooh, that is comfy. Jonah, you gotta end the vlog. What do you say? If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Even though this kid's kind of crazy sometimes, it's worth subscribing for, ish. Alyssa, you still need to subscribe to yeah. my channel. Okay. I'll just do it for you. I did Brian's. <laughs> it's pretty sad if I have to go in and subscribe for my family. What's, what's your favorite instrument? Instrument? Aww. <laughs> Come here. Stay. You're so cute. You like this xylophone? Yeah. Guys, what's your favorite instrument? Jonah likes the xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him playing that in like a wicked 80s band or something. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Give us a thumbs up and comment below. What's your favorite instrument? Or just comment and say hello to us because I like reading your comments. Not if you're creepy though, so you best be leaving my channel. You guys have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Say bye. 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 Why? Why?